Hello friends, hope you are doing well. I'm here with a new video and in this video I'm going to discuss compaction. So before moving to what compaction is, I'm going to discuss some facts with you. Right. So here in this picture you can see there are partitions and processes. Right. Uh, I discussed about this partitions and processes in the previous series which is the uh, finding page faults so i hope you can remember them if you have watched them so there are three best fit first fit and worst fit so if you haven't watched them yet you can watch those videos the links they are given in the description uh, then you can be more familiar with these partitions and placing those processes right so here you can see Altogether, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 partitions, right? There are 5 partitions and from that, those 5, 3 partitions, already there are processes, right? And 2, two partitions, they are empty. So, altogether, you can see we have uh, 500 KB empty space, right? Altogether, we have 500 KB. But even though we have 500, you can see this 500 is divided, right? It is separated into two. One part is 200 and other partition is 300. So, this is called external fragmentation, right? Even though we have a 500 KB of memory space, it is divided. It is in two places. So the question that I'm going to ask you is, what will happen, what will happen if a process arrives with a 400 of size, right? A process arrives and it is 400 KB. So we have to place this 400 KB here, right? Even though we have a 500 space left, Right? Even though we have 500 left, you can see that we cannot place this 400 here because one, one partition is it is 200 and the other is 300. Right? So what can we do now? There's a problem, right? So the solution to this problem is compaction. Right? Now let's see what is this compaction. Compaction is we bring all these empty spaces together, right? We bring all the empty spaces together. Or else we can say, we pull all the occupied spaces together Right, we pull all the occupied spaces together and then all the empty spaces, they are brought together. Right, either we can say we bring all the empty spaces together or else we pull all the occupied spaces together and then automatically the empty spaces, they are brought together. Right, so I think now you understood what is this uh, compaction is. So, how to implement this, right? Actually, there are many ways and here I am going to discuss two ways with you, right? So, the first one is, the first method is, I am going to pull these occupied spaces to the top of the table, right? So that means 150 it is here as usual, right? Instead of this 200, we are going to pull this 100 KB up. So 100 comes here. And then this 150, we take it up here, right? So then it is 150 here. And now... These two, 200 and 300, these two partitions, 
they go to the bottom right so here we have 200 and here we have 300 right so all together it is 500 right it is 500 So now you can see that we have a, a we have the empty space of 500 together. So now without any issue, we can place this 400 kb into this partition, right? Got it, right? So what we what we did is we pull all the occupied spaces occupied uh, partitions to the top of the table right to the top of the table and the empty spaces they goes to the bottom right and then we got this 500 of empty space at the bottom and then we place this 400 here without any issue right so it is the first way so the first way is we pull the occupied spaces to the top now the second way is we are going to pull these occupied spaces to the bottom of the table right so this is how we do it at the bottom it is the 150 partition so we place it here right and instead of this 300 we take this 100 down so 100 comes here right and then 150 comes down i hope you got it and now what happens this 200 and 300 partitions these empty spaces they goes to the top of the table so now we have 200 here and 300 here. So all together we have a 500 kb of empty space at the top of the table. Right. Now without any issue we can place this 400 kb here. Right. We can place it here in this empty space of 500 kb. Right, so I think you understood the two different ways that we can do compaction. So what is compaction? Compaction is we bring all the empty spaces together. So we did it in two ways. The first one is we pull all the occupied spaces to the top of the table and the empty spaces they were in the bottom of the table. The second way is we pulled all the occupied spaces to the bottom of the table and this free space, the available spaces, they were gone to the top of the table. Right, so I hope you understood what this compaction is and the uh, two ways to do the compaction. And as I told before, I hope that you will get a better idea of these partitions and uh, placing the processes in these partitions. If you watch the page faults video series that I did, finding page faults, so uh, watch them and get a good knowledge. So this is how to do the compaction and we'll meet with a new video. Thank you.